Once you have an idea of what you want out of life and who you want to become, then that becomes your compass. That becomes your North Star to guide you in the right direction. And it's okay if it's blurry because I, I've talked about this metaphor of you driving down a foggy road. You don't have to know what's 10 steps ahead. You don't have to know what's like the, the 10 year goal or the five year goal. All you need to know is like what's immediately in front of you and then steer accordingly, right? right? So it's okay to have an idea of what you want, but no idea how to make it happen. That's the stage two. It's having a dream and then knowing that you want to move towards that dream, but everything else is confusion. <laughs> like that's okay. That that was me from that 2011 to 2013, 2014 probably is like, I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know how to get there. And I remember that just being one of the most frustrating things about life when you have this feeling that your life could be amazing and it could be so much better than what it is now, but you have no idea how to get there or what it takes to get there. There's no step-by-step -step syllabus. There's no instruction manual. That was so frustrating for me <laughs> because then it means you have to figure it out. And then that means it, it's so scary. There's so much fear in that journey because there's so much uncertainty and so much unknown factors, right? But this is what you need in the stage. Let me tell you that what you need to move forward and the keys to like start moving towards your dreams in stage two. Number one, you have to believe that it is possible. Whatever you wish for yourself, whatever your dream is or your vision, you have to believe that it is possible and that it is possible for you. And that's why we talk about how important it is to have real life examples, right? We, we, it's so important to see examples of people doing this in real life. Like this person achieved this dream, that means I could do it too. And this is so key for minorities. For example, growing up Asian American and growing up as a woman, you get so much empowerment when you see someone that looks like you or has a, you know, comes from the same background as you doing something amazing because you're like, oh my God, like if they can do it, I can do it too. She looks like me. She came from where I came from. If she can do it, then I can do it. And that's why it's so important to like see examples. And if you have a dream and you don't know any real life examples of it like happening, like do your best to find the next best thing, right? Sometimes you might be a pioneer. Maybe you will be the first to do this thing. And that's totally okay. It, it is harder to do that though. It's so much easier once you see someone else do it, then you're like, okay, it's possible, <laughs> right? Like going from impossible to possible. Okay. So that was the first thing that you need. The second thing that you need is to believe in yourself. Obviously you have to believe that you are capable of achieving this dream. And in order to believe in yourself, you have to have confidence. You have to believe in your abilities and your capabilities. And this is a huge internal work that you have to do. Like most people have a dream, but maybe deep down, they don't believe that they can do it. Maybe they doubt themselves. Maybe they, they don't think it's in the cards for them. They think that, I don't know, whatever limited them in their mind truly keeps them from achieving that dream in real life. So it's so important that you have to be able to believe in yourself and believe in yourself fully. And this is so key because when you're doing something that is maybe out there or risky, a lot of the times the people around you won't believe in you. So you need to find the strength and the courage to figure out how to believe in yourself even when nobody around you does. And so to recap, number one, believe that it's possible. Find real life examples, as many as you can. And number two, believe in yourself. So with those two things, then you can move on to stage three with success.